Suppose we have a nut and a screw. When the screw is rotating such that the nut is moving in this direction, there's not really much of a problem. But when we really see backlash is when we want to change directions. Zooming in, we can see that the threads of the screw really don't take up all the space on the nut. So once the screw starts turning in the opposite direction, you can see there's a small amount of space that has to be traversed before the nut starts moving. This phenomena is called backlash. And though it may seem like a minor thing, when dealing with precision machining, this can add up to quite a bit of error. There are devices that compensate for this, called anti-backlash nuts, but sometimes they don't work quite as well as you might want them to. Fortunately, you can compensate for this in most CNC control softwares. In order to measure backlash, you'll need a dial indicator. To measure your z-axis backlash, set the indicator up like this. In order for this to work properly, I first have to move the axis down a little bit, and then I zero my indicator. Then I move up four thousandths of an inch. It didn't quite get to four thousandths of an inch, so we can conclude that that last half of a thousandth of an inch is our backlash. If your machine part isn't coming out right, consider increasing your backlash number just a small bit. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.